Thank you very much. Well, it has been really tough coming up with material for tonight's monologue. I mean, it's been such a slow news week, right? Whoa. Well, a few things did happen. Comedian Ricky Gervais emceed the Golden Globe Awards last Sunday night, but he did it with a flamethrower instead of a microphone. He roasted Hollywood elites right to their heavily made up faces in a searing monologue that exposed their hypocrisy for riding around in limos and private jets and then lecturing the rest of us about so much as driving a mommy van to carpool the kids. <laughs> he reminded those Hollywood folks that most of them had been in school for less time than the angry European teenager Greta Thunberg. <laughs> and then he actually told them that they didn't really know much of anything, that they were actors, not experts on anything. And if they won a Golden Globe Award, they should not give a political speech, just get up, accept their award, and shut up. <laughs> Hollywood. <laughs> Hollywood hated it, but America loved it. Then, following a vicious attack on one of our military bases, resulting in the death of one American and injuries to four others, there was an assault on the American embassy in Baghdad. A few days later, President Trump ordered a strike on the car driving Iranian mass murderer Qasem Soleimani from the Baghdad airport. Now, it was obvious and intelligence confirmed that Soleimani wasn't headed to the drive-through of Sonic Drive-In. He was headed to create more mayhem and to target more Americans to kill. He had been personally responsible for the direct deaths of over 700 Americans, thousands of American servicemen and women coming home without arms or legs or eyes because of the IEDs that he provided. He was actually ordered by the UN back in 2011 to not even leave Iran. And there he was responsible for the murders of thousands of Iranian citizens who did not bow to the bloodthirsty iron rule of the Ayatollah. Shockingly, every Democrat in Washington, except for former Senator Joe Lieberman, immediately condemned not the Iranian terrorist, but President Trump. You can't make this stuff up. Now, when President Obama ordered the strike to kill Osama bin Laden, I can't remember one Republican who took bin Laden's side of the deal. I certainly didn't. I was on TV, as was every Republican I know, to praise President Obama for taking the action to put an end to the monster who orchestrated the 9-11 attack on America. And, <laughs> and to no one's surprise, former NFL player Colin Kaepernick, or Colin, however you want to call him, who made a fortune playing a game and who turned into an anti-American flag-hating whiner, he took Iran's side. Someone wondered when Nike is going to come out with a shoe to honor Soleimani. <laughs> now, I call him Colin Kaepernick because I think he's full of the same stuff my colon is full of. That's just my thought. Uh, we'll see if that gets edited out. Could be. By the way, you remember when Nancy Pelosi said the impeachment of President Trump was so urgent that the House couldn't wait one more day because the country was at risk? Yeah, that was over three weeks ago. <laughs> it hasn't been too urgent since. But I got to tell you, I think it's unfair to accuse Nancy Pelosi of looking foolish and dishonest for saying it was urgent to impeach President Trump and then sit on those articles of impeachment like a hen would sit on an egg. She isn't holding the articles. She just forgot where she put them. <laughs> and in another big story, Prince Harry and Princess Meghan have said they don't want to be royal anymore. They just want to be commoners. I'm thinking about starting a GoFundMe page for them so they can set up <laughs> housekeeping. Maybe get them a small apartment like most couples do and get jobs where they have to show up and work every day. And by the way, if you're from the South like I am, you might want to help me put together an old-fashioned pounding so we can get their kitchen stocked with some sugar and salt and lard and flour and cornmeal. 
How many of you remember an old fashioned pounding? And not the kind where they beat you up. Well, other than that, just hasn't been much going on. So maybe next week, we'll have some big topics to talk about. Now, if you want more videos like that one, hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell right next to it. And if you leave a comment, positive or negative, I'll be sure that my dog Toby sees it and responds to you in kind. <laughs>